fixtures just died on me a few moments ago. I have no idea why. And uh, it looks like I'll have to order a new one. Great. Just what I wanted to do. Just as I get the studio pretty much kitted out the way I want it to, something decides to die. Actually, there's a few things around my apartment that are starting to die on me. One of my smart plugs clicks on and off constantly throughout the day. It's the one attached to my coffee pot, so I might have to change that out because I don't want it to burn out my coffee pot. It's 25 years old, and I'd, I'd like to keep it running as long as I can. I mean, after all, I paid $20 for it, so it's paid for itself, but I'd like to keep it rolling for as long as possible. So here we are on a um, Monday, February 19th. January dragged, but the month of February seems to be just uh, flying along. I'm I'm kind of flabbergasted at it all, to be honest with you. It's just flying by. To that, I'm kind of excited that... Is it March 11th? I have to check my calendar here. Let me just check on the old calendar. Because we will be turning our clocks ahead an hour. And I think... It's March, it's either March 9th, sorry, 9th or the 16th. Maybe it's the 16th. It's not the 23rd. I think it's March 9th we turn the clocks ahead, or is it March 10th? March 10th, well, yeah, technically, yes, technically. So at 2 a.m., March 10th, which was, you know, very, very early Sunday morning or late Saturday night, if you will, we turn the clocks ahead an hour. Spring forward, fall back? Or is it spring back, fall forward? No, spring forward, fall back. I'm having a little bit of fun with that because uh, I honestly couldn't remember for a moment. So yeah, we turn our clocks back now, which gives us an extra hour of daylight at the end of the work day, which is nice because today the sun set at... Um, what time did it set at? Let me just check on that, and then I'll get down to brass tacks here. We'll have a discussion about mental health and the way I'm feeling, but something to consider is that Weather does affect your mental health, especially if you're somebody like me who suffers from seasonal affective disorder, which is lack of sunlight. So yeah, today the sun set at five, five thirty-six, which would mean that it didn't get dark until after six p.m. because of dusk, you know, curvature of the Earth, northern hemisphere. The dusk lasts for thirty to forty minutes on average. So even though the sun is set, it's not dark here. Unlike an equatorial sunset where once that sun goes down, it's like somebody goes click and the lights are off. Something that was very strange when I was in uh, Costa Rica. I was only there for a few days and I was like, this is bizarre. I've only ever been in northern and southern hemispheres. First time I came close to equatorial was like very different. Well, I guess that's not entirely true. I mean, I've spent some time in Florida, but that's still North America, and uh, I find its sunset is slow as well. It's not, you know, there's summer sun. Actually, I've never been there in the summer. I've only been there in the winter, autumn and winter. So I don't know what time it's the sun sets in Florida, to be honest with you. But the month of uh, February is kind of going by fast, which... You know, ordinarily, I'd, I wouldn't say that. Ordinarily, I find February can drag a bit. And although it was a long weekend for a lot of people across the country today, unfortunately, it was not for me because, uh, although I, don't, I do not work for the federal government, I work for a private company who contracts me out to a crown corporation. Crown corporation is not federal government. 
but they're tied to the federal government schedule. So if the federal government is working today, so am I. That being said, it wasn't a difficult work day, but I'll be honest with you, I really would have liked to have had today off. I mean, I really, really, really could have used an extra day um, of, of rest um, and, and some leisure time to go out and enjoy because it was a beautiful sunny day. I would have been out and enjoyed some winter loot activities because it is the final day of winter loot, our winter carnival that we have here in Canada's capital every year in February. Over the course of three weekends, when I was a much younger boy, it used to uh, take place over the course of two weeks. So it was consecutive weekdays. And they found that if they moved it to three weekends in a row, starting sometimes on a Thursday, it would bring in A, more tourists, and B, uh, locals could also attend it a little bit better because most of us are working during the week. So trying to attend a festival that takes place at, you know, 10 a.m. on a Tuesday, not necessarily easy. Many of us have to earn a living, myself being one of them. So, yeah, the schedule changed. I'm not sure how many years ago that was. It was quite a while ago now that I think about it, and uh, I'm thankful for it. Oh, you, you, had, uh, you had President's Day off today? Cool. Yeah, I guess it was President's Day in the U.S., that's right. not up on all the holidays. If I, Basically, if I don't have it, I don't really pay attention. <laughs> Maybe that's a little selfish of me, but if I don't get to enjoy it, it's just another work day. So, you know, it's not... Um, it's just another work day, really, <laughs> for me. <laughs> so, I guess I'm feeling... Somewhat upbeat, actually. Um, surprisingly, despite the fact that, you know, it was a relatively quiet work day and uh, my beloved partner, uh, Bridget, was out uh, enjoying the day, the holiday, with her daughter. I don't, uh, I don't know what shenanigans they got up to, but I know they were out enjoying themselves today. And I would have loved to have been able to join them, but, you know, gotta, gotta make the donuts, right? That's an old pop culture reference for those of you who don't know for a Dunkin' Donuts commercial in the 1980s. The guy would wake up very early in the morning and go, time to make the donuts. Then he would come home late at night and go, I made the donuts. Time to make the donuts. Got to make the donuts every day because if you don't, it makes it hard to keep a roof over your head, food on your table, and the lights on. And I like to keep the lights on because I find it's a little bit easier to be able to provide this milieu, this medium, to do this if, if the lights are on. Speaking of lights, let me just check on something here. It looks like, uh, looks like I need to make an adjustment. Brightness looks to be a little bit too high. Maybe? I don't know. What do you think? Was that too dark? I think that's a little bit... Oh, I'm a little washed out. Oh, that makes me look old. <laughs> I can. I'm not exactly a spring chicken anymore. Who's kidding who? So today, yeah, it was uh, a quiet day, work-wise. Had a few meetings in the afternoon, only one brief meeting in the morning. Nothing crazy. Got a few things accomplished, so I feel good about that. But it's, it's a day, uh, a lot of solitude. And when the work day finished, I thought I should go out for a walk. But I was like, no, I had a raging headache decided that I would lie down and try and meditate it away. I took some medication, put an ice bag on my head, closed my eyes, put on a, a sleep hypnosis uh, soundtrack, which a uh, bit of a misnomer for me anyway, personally. It doesn't hypnotize me, but it can help me to relax enough that I can uh, drift off for a few minutes. And ultimately, that's all I want to do is just drift off for a few minutes. So then I got up and had some dinner and read for a little bit and then watched a couple of... Uh, I, I decided to watch... I didn't feel like going out at that point after dinner. I was feeling... I thought if I go out, I'm just going to go for a quick walk, go over to the pub, spend money I shouldn't be spending right now. So instead, I'll stay home, not spend any money, and just watch some of the older X-Men movies, or the last couple, I guess. What was it? Apocalypse and Days of Future Past, or uh, 
I don't know, but watched watched two of them back to back, and it was a way to pass the time. I didn't have a lot on my plate this evening. I was able to get most of my um, errands and chores, if you will, done on the weekend, so that today it left me with a lot of free time. The only thing really left to do is laundry, and as anyone knows, that's always um, a chore in an apartment building. I mean, I can run up, drop a load in the washer, come back down, relax for 30 minutes, go back up, throw it in the dryer, wait an hour. But some days I just don't have the emotional energy to do that. And I know that might sound a little bizarre, perhaps, but I honestly, I didn't have the emotional energy for that today. I just wanted to do my job, and that was about it. I just, I was, you know, kind of laid back today. Last night I had fallen asleep quite early at around 6.30, 7 o'clock after dinner. I don't know why, I was just, I fell asleep for about an hour and a half. One second. Well, I woke up, it was some sometime around 9.30. So then I, I'm like, I can't go to bed now. I'll, I'll be up all night if I do that. So I watched a movie and then crawled into bed and laid there till one thirty. And had that um, ever so often witching hour. I don't know what else to call it. Um, a good 60 to 70, maybe 90 minutes. I wasn't really keeping track, to be honest with you, of the emptiness and despair that comes with uh, depression. Just going through one of those moments of, what is this all for? Why am I doing this? What's the purpose to living? What's the purpose to life? There's no point in any of it. And then when I realized, because you're not, when those thoughts creep in, you're not necessarily conscious that you're thinking them because they're subconscious thoughts. And when I realized what was going on, I just, whoa, Paul, back it up, slow down, breathe, through it. So that's what I did. I did my breathing exercises. Ten deep breaths in a row in through the mouth, out through the nose. I would hold it for three to five seconds in between inhale and exhale. And that helped to br bring me a sense of calm and peace. And as a result, I was able to fall asleep. And when I woke up this morning, I felt fine. Everything was whatever it was that, that haunted me last night was gone. And that just strikes me as bizarre. Well, thanks, everybody. I appreciate your uh, just looking over here at the chat, and I appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Um, sorry. A little dry this evening. I, I've been running my humidifier high all day, and there's only, it's, it's only about 30% humidity in my apartment right now, so it's quite dry which means I'll have to get some uh, moisturizer later. <laughs> Otherwise, my skin will be all ashy, and no one likes ashy. At least I certainly don't. Maybe you do. I don't know. Not judging. I don't, uh, I don't pass judgment over anyone. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to read what you wrote there. I'm going to blow this up a little bit. Let's see. Anyone here a real crisis counselor? I certainly am not. Um, I've dealt with people in crisis. I'm not a crisis counselor. I'm not trained in, in any way, shape, or form. But I'm usually pretty good at trying to get people to relax and maybe calm down a bit so that the uh, hysterical thoughts that they might be feeling can can be taken away. I mean, that's why I speak in this voice, which is, by the way, my natural speaking voice. I do, I do lower a little bit. Thank you, Cassie. I do lower a little bit. I'm not speaking loudly, but this is my natural voice. And the thing is, it's very quiet. And this is about the only time I get to speak in this voice. And as a result, it, uh, it helps soothe my mind, too, because it, I feel like I can... Hang on, I think somebody's knocking at my door. <laughs> Just a second. Oh, 
Well, that was bizarre. Somebody knocked at the door, but there was nobody there. So I don't know what was going on with that. Terribly sorry to step away like that. Sometimes you just, uh, you just have to. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, how many witches and or goblins have you slain? Uh, none, uh, as of today. You, you heard the knocking too, right? I went to the door and there was nobody there. The mic picks up everything. I don't know. I'm in an apartment building. It's possible. Um, one second. It was very strange. I live alone and Bridget's not here, so I don't know. Somebody knocked at the door. I opened the door, said hello. There was nobody there, so whatever. And there's nothing at my door, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe they came to the wrong apartment. Well, that's great, plain power. I'm glad. I hope I hope you were able to help that person this evening. I, I've been trying to help somebody. I don't know if I did or not. Uh, somebody who has expressed uh, that they don't want to be here anymore. And I begged with them to please, please don't uh, do anything rash. The pain that you're feeling is always only temporary. It doesn't last forever, and we can get you help if you want it. Just have to give me a little bit of information so I can reach out for you, but I don't know. I hope hope, hope the person that, that uh, sent me a message has not done anything rash. There's only so much one can do, and, uh, well... That's just kind of how it is. It's weighing heavy on me a little bit. Well, hello, my darling. My 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 burrito baby. Wrapped up in a blanket, are you? Right? Oh, my goodness. So, as I said, I'm I'm not a not a counselor uh, in any way, shape, or form. I just come on here to try and speak in a soft, coo- soothing voice to, to help bring people to a sense of calm, sense, uh, so- calmness and peaceful relaxation and talk about the things that I do to cope with having both depression and anxiety. And I only take medication for those two things, one pill, and it does it for both. It works for both quite well. It's not a cure-all. It's a treatment. I didn't, ADHD doesn't um, rule my life so much so that I need medication for it yet. I say yet because the day may come when I do. I don't know. It's it's not for me to say. <laughs> it's not for me to actually predict either. I guess it's, I'll have to wait and see what the doc says. If the doc says, yeah, you you, you should be taking this, then I will. But until such time as... As I'm told that I have to take a medication of that type, um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I wanted to show you something here. Where did it go? There it is. Let's just bring up the... um, I have another camera here. And if I bring that into the picture... There, you can see there's the outdoor camera. Looking out on the world of downtown Ottawa. It's nothing special this evening, honestly. There's nothing much to see. It's um, it's not cold out. There's some snow, but uh, yeah, there we go. The night camp. Oh my goodness. Um. Well, that's um, thank you, Plain Power. That's uh, that's nice to know. No, there are no fireworks today. Thankfully, there were some on the weekend on uh, Saturday night. They they let off a bunch of them. It was quite early. And uh, it was close to a bunch of hotels. And they did it in a parking lot uh, across the street from 240 uh, Sparks or 235 Queen. If you live in the capital, you know where I'm, what I'm talking about. There's a shelter not far from there. And several apartment buildings just around the corner. And a bunch of new condos that just went up. So I'm sure the people who've moved into that part of the downtown core recently are really happy about that. I'm not going to get into the politics of it, okay? We're, we don't do that here. But, yeah, I'm just answering your question. There were some fireworks on the weekend. And we'll leave it at that. 
As I've said time and time again, anybody who wants to come into this space, as long as you check your politics or your your religious, your political or religious bias is left at the door because you're coming here because you have uh, either a reason to discuss mental health or need to open up about your mental health, or for that matter, if you need to talk to me about the fact that maybe maybe you're just not feeling 100%. Or maybe you just want to hear uh, somebody speak in a soothing tone to try and bring you some peace of mind and relaxation. I don't know why you come, but as long as you come here and you're happy to be here and you're willing to contribute, and and again, contribute, I mean, y- you don't have to um, make any radical statements, pardon me, one second. When I say contribute, I mean... If you join the chat, please be constructive. I I just want you to check. Check all your bias at the door. We're here for each other. Talk about how we're feeling. And most people, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, tell me if you think I'm crazy when I say this, and I say crazy as in a joking manner. I don't mean mentally ill. I already have that problem. Thank you very much. Just peace and comfort, exactly, plain power. That's, That's all I want here is just peace and comfort, peace of mind. If you come in here, I want you to, yeah, think of it exactly as group therapy. I'm just leading the group. I'll be the one doing the the actual vocalizing of the things that I'm thinking and feeling. And you can talk to each other in the chat and lean on one another. We have a, this is a bias-free zone. And I sincerely mean that. I want people to come here. Because they they're looking for they're looking for assistance. They they need help just like anybody else in this world does. We all need help. So please feel free to invite anybody you think that could benefit from a a cyber group therapy, where I just talk about what I'm going through. And as I said, I'm, I woke up feeling great this morning, despite having that terrible sense of despair and emptiness last night. Pardon me. I didn't. I don't want to cough in your ears. That would totally detract from the whole sensory um, experience. And I mean, after all, that's what we're here for—is a sensory experience and mental health, and you know, some group therapy all at the same time. I'm going to need some more water. It's really dry in here. My poor humidifier is running full blast, and I don't know how much longer it's going to last. I think I have to order a second one. It explains a lot, though. I, I didn't realize how dry it was in here until I bought some hygrometers to tell me, and I went, oh my goodness, that's why my skin is always such a mess in the winter. Because it's very humid in Ottawa, but when you go outside, you're always covered up. You're not getting exposed to the humidity because, oh my goodness, it's, it's really unpleasant. So, yeah, that's kind of where I am right now. Feeling quite good after after what was a, a relatively quiet day and uh, yeah the February blahs yeah no whiskey this evening no I'm skipping out on that tonight no alcohol um went and had uh, beer with a friend last night had two beer and then came home and this evening I'm like no no alcohol uh, nothing tonight nothing tomorrow I might have uh, beer at our Scotch and Cigar Club I don't. We call it a scotch and cigar club, but we almost never drink scotch anymore just because it's, you might have two or three of them and the next morning it's like, oh, why did I do that? And as we're not younger, the the recovery time takes longer, as anybody over 30 would know. And as I'm 55, oh, that recovery time is not fun. So, yeah. Yeah, no whiskey this evening or tomorrow evening. And uh, none, none Wednesday, actually, I won't be having any. And this coming weekend, is there anything significant about it? I can't remember. My goodness gracious. There's something coming up. You know what? I'll worry about it later. It's got nothing to do with my mental health other than the fact that I now have anxiety thinking about what it is I'm supposed to do this weekend. (laughs) Oh, never mind. It's not that important because it was supposed to happen last weekend and it couldn't. So it might happen this week or it might not. It's just some moving stuff I got to do. Bridget knows all about it. So here I sit on a Monday evening, 
trying to trying to express to you what I've been going through for the last little bit. And for the most part, I have, uh, like I said, been feeling pretty good. Been feeling pretty good. You know, I did have that brief moment last night that really, you know, when those when those dark thoughts come in, they usually come in stealth-like. You you don't see them coming. And the next thing you know, you're contemplating all of life's great mysteries. Is is there a point to any of it? Why why do why bother? Why go on? And those thoughts do invade. They're invasive thoughts that come out of nowhere. So I know oftentimes when that happens, it, it can really knock you for a loop. But thankfully, I was able to grasp uh, uh, grasp a hold of those thoughts consciously because they're unconscious thoughts. But I grasped a hold of them consciously and said, "Oh, hang on a second here." Realized I was tense and I was racing and reeling. So that's when I started the breathing exercises and meditated. Calmed down and felt better and then went to sleep and woke up this morning feeling fine. So folks, remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. Breathe with intent because it's important to do that. So... I think I am going to take my leave. I'm going to uh, have another glass of water. And then a hot hot chocolate because it's kind of a chilly evening. And you know what? A hot chocolate uh, chocolate is nice to have. I don't know. Somebody sent me money. I don't even know what it's for. So I just got a message there. So I'm going to have a glass of water and a hot chocolate and relax and probably head to bed at around... uh, 11 p.m., take a little bit of wind-down time. So I hope that everybody was able to come in tonight and uh, chill for a little bit. I hope you feel relaxed. I hope you feel peaceful. And if you are struggling, there is help out there. And there are many people who care and want to help, which is the whole point of this group, is to reach out for anybody who wants to join if you if you feel that somebody could benefit from this, please let them know. I I would uh, I'd like to help as many people as I can, and this is about the only way I can do it because I'm not what you would call a man of financial means. But this is the one thing I can do. I think is to discuss openly my mental health and what I go through because I've been told by a number of people that it's been helpful to them. So. If I can help in that manner, I will continue to do so. So, yeah, I think it's time for a glass of water and a hot chocolate. And I'm going to settle in with a book, I think. I've got about four of them that I started to read, and I just didn't get back to them. Life gets in the way sometimes. Sometimes we have to consciously make time for ourselves in ways we didn't necessarily think about. Conscious thinking... Being mindful, I guess. I hate saying that, but it's really what it is, being mindful. So I'm going to mindfully enjoy my hot chocolate and then read a book I've been meaning to get to for a while and go to bed at around 11 p.m. So I hope that anybody that uh, was able to join this evening found this somewhat helpful. I hope you're feeling better now than when you started, when we started, when I started. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. I will be back for sure next Monday. And if I can get something done between now and then, I absolutely will. So you take care. And I will see you uh, very, very soon. Bye. Do you want to do